Good morning, good morning. Greetings from Africa, Botswana. My name is Leturile Kennedy. I'm an architect and founder of EcoHub. At EcoHub, one man's waste is another man's affordable eco house. I'm here to share, to share with you my love story. In 1996, I fell in love. I fell in love with waste. By the age of 15, I had lost my virginity to waste, making a makeshift motorcycle all from waste. That is me right there at 15 years old. So imagine a 105 uh, degree day in a tin shack. As I joined, uh, as I lost love and ended the relationship, I joined the world in dumping uh, waste at landfills, which are now contributing a 4% to global warming and climate change. So now imagine a 105 degree day in a tin shack. That's like living in a sauna. So that's what 1.6 billion people out there are living in. Our solution is simple. We'll use the first problem to solve the second problem. So what we're going to use is recycled plastic waste to make eco-bricks. Eco-bricks that will make our eco-houses. It is these eco-houses that will help house the 1.6 billion people out there who are living in inadequate shelter. Of course, we'll start up with Africa, especially my country, which we have about 600,000 Botswana who are in need of adequate shelter and move on to South Africa and uh, our neighboring uh, countries. Strategy is to empower the community. We'll have in cycle, uh, recycling incentive uh, rewards program system whereby you give us your waste, we give you almost like eco bricks. From there, we'll move on to piloting our project. Then by July 2018, we should be mass producing with July 2019 uh, exporting regionally and expecting about a gross revenue of about $12 million. Competition is a healthy thing. So we have strategically placed ourselves right at the top to offer our houses at more than half the price of our typical uh, competitors. In addition to having quick assembly, three to five days versus uh, 40, 45 days, as well as empowering the locals. But such a vision will be crazy without a hardworking and dedicated team. So with me, I have two award-winning graduates who are formerly my students and uh, in both environmental science and architectural field. In addition to that, I also have a marketing and sales personnel, as well as a structural engineer. I must say the journey thus far has been great. From quitting my job in July to now being offered opportunity to pitch at Slash 100 and bring the African heat to here. What we need is about 650,000, which we spread out in faces, in addition to mentoring and advice. Please join me and, uh, in my love story and help me reunite myself with, with waste and give love, hope, and dignity to the 1.6 billion people out there who are in need of adequate shelter. One man's waste, another man's affordable eco house. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. I love the mission. Oh, um, can you. you explain more the cost and process of the production of the eco bricks? Uh, they start, it starts off with uh, collecting of the waste. From the waste, uh, we put it into our factory, and our factory will have uh, extrusion machines. So the waste will be palletized, but we'll be using plastic waste. So the HDPE and the PP will be palletized and uh, combined with wood flour. So it's based on existing wood uh, plastic composite technology, which has been around for more than 20 years. Okay. And then from there, it goes through a mold, which will produce the eco bricks. Great. And so per eco brick, do you know the, the cost of producing that? Per eco, uh, per eco brick, we'll be looking at, uh, in dollars, it will be about pretty much about $10. Sure. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Is there any way to sort of defend this sort of in terms of IP or patents or something like that? Yes, we have uh, the trademark approved. We have the industrial design approved. Then we've now put in for the utility model. After that, we'll be moving up to the patent. But, but if someone else comes in, for example, and, and has another, you know, you can get plastics from anywhere, right? Mm -hmm. uh, is, is, it, is it purely sort of an execution race on that side? The actual production or the actual sort of process is hard to sort of defend in that sense. Oh, thank you for that. Uh, the patent is more to the design of the eco brick because it's a flat pack eco brick. That's where we are really eyeing the patent because we are basing it on existing technology. So our patent is really on the eco brick. Thank you. And thank you. Thank you.